He is known for being a Hellenistic Platonist philosopher, who is regarded as the founder of Neoplatonism. He is recognized for his vast influence during late antiquity, the Middle Ages, and the Renaissance. His name is Plotinus. In the vibrant and diverse world of Roman Egypt, a brilliant philosopher named Plotinus emerged as a leading figure in the realm of metaphysics. Born and raised in this rich cultural environment, Plotinus was deeply influenced by the teachings of his mentor, the self-taught philosopher Ammonius Saccas. It was under Ammonius' guidance that Plotinus delved into the Platonic tradition, paving the way for his groundbreaking philosophy. Porphyry, a prominent historian of the time, would later provide insights into Plotinus' life through his preface to the Enneads, Plotinus' most renowned literary work. This philosophical masterpiece would go on to shape the course of intellectual history for centuries to come. Plotinus' profound insights into metaphysics centered around three fundamental principles, the one, the intellect, and the soul. With his philosophical framework, Plotinus inspired a myriad of thinkers across different faiths and eras. His ideas resonated with pagans, Jews, Christians, Gnostics, and even early Islamic metaphysicians and mystics. The concept of duality within the One, explored by Plotinus, found its way into mainstream theological concepts within religions. His profound influence extended far beyond his lifetime, shaping the philosophical landscape of late antiquity, the Middle Ages, and the Renaissance. As we journey through the life and teachings of Plotinus, we will witness the profound impact of his philosophy on the intellectual and spiritual realms, forever altering the course of human thought. Plotinus, a Greek philosopher born around 205 CE, lived a life shrouded in mystery. Little is known about his ancestry or birthplace, as he himself showed little interest in such details. What we do know is that he possessed a deep distrust of materiality, viewing the physical world as a mere reflection of a higher, more authentic reality. This skepticism extended even to his own body, as he refused to have his portrait painted, mirroring his disdain for the material world. At the age of 28, Plotinus embarked on a journey to Alexandria in search of philosophical wisdom. Disappointed by the teachings of various philosophers he encountered, he finally found his mentor in the self-taught Platonist philosopher Ammonius Saccas. Over the course of eleven years, Plotinus immersed himself in the teachings of Ammonius, declaring, this is the man I was looking for. During this time, he also drew inspiration from the works of Aristotle, Empedocles, Heraclitus, Alexander of Aphrodisias, and others. Plotinus's philosophy centered around the concept of transcending the material world and seeking a deeper understanding of existence. He believed that the physical realm was a mere imitation of a higher, more intelligible reality. By delving into the realm of ideas, one could uncover the truer essence of being. His teachings emphasized the importance of moral and spiritual values, as he himself exemplified the highest standards of conduct. While Plotinus's ideas may seem esoteric, they have practical implications for daily life. His philosophy encourages us to question the superficialities of the material world and seek a deeper meaning in our existence. By recognizing that there is more to reality than meets the eye, we can cultivate a sense of wonder and curiosity about the world around us. Plotinus reminds us to prioritize moral and spiritual values, striving for personal growth and the development of virtuous character. As Plotinus once reflected, my life will recur in exactly identical fashion. This statement encapsulates his belief in the eternal recurrence of existence. It serves as a reminder that our actions and choices have consequences and that we should strive to live a life of purpose and integrity. Plotinus's philosophy encourages us to transcend the limitations of the physical world and embrace a deeper understanding of ourselves and the universe. Plotinus, a renowned philosopher from Alexandria, had spent eleven years delving into the depths of knowledge in this vibrant city. However, at the age of around thirty-eight, he felt a calling to explore the philosophical teachings of the Persian and Indian philosophers. Determined to embark on this intellectual journey, Plotinus made the bold decision to leave Alexandria behind and join the army of the Roman Emperor Gordian III as it marched on Persia. As fate would have it, the campaign proved to be a failure, and when Gordian eventually met his demise, Plotinus found himself stranded in a hostile land. With great difficulty, he navigated his way back to safety in the city of Antioch. This arduous experience only fueled his thirst for knowledge and understanding. At the age of 40, during the reign of Emperor Philip the Arab, Plotinus arrived in Rome, which would become his home for the majority of his remaining years. It was in this magnificent city that he began to attract a significant following of students who were captivated by his profound wisdom. Among his innermost circle were Porphyry, Aemilius Gentilianus of Tuscany, Castricius Firmus, a senator, and Eustochius of Alexandria, a devoted doctor who dedicated himself to learning from Plotinus until the end of his days. Plotinus's influence extended beyond his close circle. 
He had other notable students, such as Zethus, an Arab by ancestry who, unfortunately, passed away before Plotinus, leaving him a legacy in some land. Zodicus, a critic and poet, Paulinus, a doctor from Scythopolis, and Serapion from Alexandria also sought wisdom under his guidance. Even amongst the Roman Senate, Plotinus's teachings found resonance, with students like Marcellus Orontius, Sabinillus, and Rogantianus. It is worth noting that Plotinus's wisdom was not confined to men alone. Women also flocked to learn from him, including Gamina, in whose house he resided during his time in Rome, and her daughter, also named Gamina. Amphiclia, the wife of Ariston, son of Iamblichus, also sought Plotinus's teachings. His influence transcended gender boundaries, proving that wisdom knows no limitations. Throughout his life, Plotinus's intellectual pursuits did not exist in isolation. He corresponded with other great thinkers of his time, such as the philosopher Cassius Longinus, engaging in thought-provoking discussions and expanding his own understanding. Plotinus's expedition to Persia and return to Rome not only shaped his own philosophy but also left a lasting impact on the lives of his students and the intellectual landscape of his time. His teachings continue to inspire and guide us today, reminding us of the importance of seeking knowledge, embracing diversity, and nurturing the thirst for wisdom within ourselves. Plotinus, a renowned philosopher of ancient times, was known for his profound insights into the nature of divinity and morality. As he reached the later years of his life, he found himself in Rome, where he gained the respect of the Emperor Gallienus and his wife Salonina. Plotinus, ever passionate about his philosophical ideals, attempted to convince Gallienus to rebuild an abandoned settlement in Campania, known as the City of Philosophers, where people would live according to the principles outlined in Plato's laws. Unfortunately, an imperial subsidy was never granted, leaving Plotinus disheartened. Undeterred, Plotinus sought solace and inspiration in Sicily. It was there that he spent his final days, in seclusion on an estate bestowed upon him by his friend Zethus. Plotinus, aware of his impending mortality, contemplated the essence of divinity and left us with his profound last words, try to raise the divine in yourselves to the divine in the all. It was a poignant reminder of the interconnectedness of all beings and the importance of nurturing the divine within. As fate would have it, during Plotinus's final moments, a snake slithered under the bed where he lay, only to disappear through a hole in the wall. It was at that very moment that the philosopher passed away, leaving behind a legacy of wisdom and introspection. His departure was marked by a mysterious encounter with nature, a symbolic reminder of the cyclical nature of life and the eternal presence of divinity. Throughout his life, Plotinus diligently penned numerous essays, which later became known as the Enneads. These writings, however, were not originally intended as a formal book. Instead, they were the vast collection of notes and essays that Plotinus utilized during his lectures and debates. Due to his poor eyesight, Plotinus was unable to revise his own work, and it fell upon his devoted pupil Porphyry to meticulously edit and polish them. Porphyry, recognizing the immense value of Plotinus's teachings, took on the task with great care. He tirelessly labored to transform Plotinus's disorganized notes into a coherent and profound body of work. Despite the challenges posed by Plotinus's handwriting and lack of attention to spelling, Porphyry's dedication ensured that Plotinus's wisdom would transcend time and continue to inspire generations to come. Plotinus's philosophy, with its emphasis on the divine within and the interconnectedness of all things, holds great relevance in our daily lives. It reminds us to seek the divine within ourselves, to nurture our spiritual growth, and to recognize the inherent interconnectedness of all beings. Plotinus's profound insights into the nature of divinity and morality serve as a guiding light, offering wisdom and solace amidst the complexities of the world we inhabit. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.